you doing? Today, I would like to share with you about self-watering planter from your own kitchen waste like water, water from the water or even the cooking oil water. So what we gonna do is that I have been asking by a friend of mine on sharing this topic specifically because she always not available to taking care of her plants or vegetables. So this is the most convenient way that you can have this near to your kitchen and you can have some of the simple herbs to grow on it and then easy to leach out without taking too much time to take care of it. So first I would like to show you is that I take the first step by peel out the sticker of course. So after I clear up this already, next I show you that I would like to remove this uh, handle. So what I did is just I cut, just one simple cut here and then I remove it out. So put back. Next is that I measurement from the bottom to this part, this area. Minimum it should be around 2.5 inches to 3 inches, not more than 3 inches. Why? Because it would like to have the water somewhere around here. It will be much better and more effective when the soil it will be sucking up and slowly slowly getting and the plants the root is able to intake the water so from here when i doing the marking just from the line i just use the very big size nut screw to heat up with the kitchen stove the fire then i punch it surrounding it so I do it very, very close, around one to one and a half inches. The reason is that if you put this outdoor, and this is where the water will raise from here to the hole, and then it will flood out. So if you put it outdoor and there is a heavy rainfall, it's avoiding the number of holes that are more here. It will be more faster the water to be drained out before the water that is too big of the quantity of the rain it will raise up until disturbing your plants and soil so that is the reason why you can have it a lot here maybe about one and one and a half inches this is a little bit tough because the thickness is different from the bottles this area the plastic a little bit thicker but same thing you heat up nicely the uh, your screw and then you punch in i would like prefer to have about at least uh, four to five holes here so this is the part that is not too many. The soil will not coming out, but at the same time, the water actually can seep in. Okay, so when you have these two done already, the only one next step that you need to do is you need to cut, open this part. We cut somewhere here. It depends, you know, you want the soil to be a little bit. This is for the water level, right? And then this is the soil will come up until here. If you think uh, your plants is like maybe mint or saw mint or some is a very very short leaf, you can even cut a little bit lower. It will be fine. What's the difference? Because uh, certain certain herbs you don't need uh, very uh, a lot of soil and a lot of fertilizer. It's just a waste. It's a simple thing that you supply more than uh, demand. So just as those mints, spring onion and all this, they don't need really really deep down all the way but in this case I would like to have it in two in one so what I'm gonna do is that I hope this knife is sharp enough yes it is so I'm gonna cut a little bit uh, higher it is done okay so the next step I just put this inside and then I just place it down all the way until the bottom what I'm going to do is that I'm going to place it all the way until the bottom like that. So, uh, this way, you can already start to fill up the soil. So, the soil, it needs to be a little bit uh, easy, those moisty, moisty soils a little bit. Not too sandy, not too tough. Actually, I'm using the, the normal soil that I have mixed with a lot of the coconut hatch and a little bit of the piece moss inside. So uh, the old, old piece moss, mixed three, three, four types, I just throw in together. So what I'm gonna do is, if I'm using it as usual, uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of the chicken dung inside. 
This one I already mixed with a lot of things already, you know. Put it maybe in the bag for about already more than two months. But anyhow, I will add in a little bit more. I like this eggshell. <laughs> Okay, make the plants a little bit more resistant on the diseases and all this. So I just put in the soil, a little bit oily first, and then here extra, you know, a little bit of this at the bottom, and then I will mix again. I will mix again at the bottom, and then I cover the part that having this. I cover the chicken dung a little bit with the soil. So now I already cover. Next step is that I see the root. Once I want to grow the, my herbs, I having here hiding. <laughs> this is the, too long to pin out from the, the soil. So what happening is that I'm gonna grow this, and then from what I see here, I think I still can put a little bit more in the soil, a little bit more inside. for a little while. Wait first. Mm. Uh, at the bottom of the soil just now, there are a little bit of the uh, white fungus actually because of I, you know, taking care of this soil and then been mixing a lot with many many more things so those is uh, still usable so I don't worry so today we're gonna do two in one Gardening is very easy. You can do all this indoor, sit down, spend time with it a little bit, and then. Wow, the soil is very, very soft. Could be dealing too much with the coconut hutch. The coconut hutch, I already mentioned, we using those, it's already been soaked fully get rest of the tannin if uh press down a little bit okay it's actually too big for replanting but it's still okay so my experience is that keep it indoor a little bit uh, keep it under the shade a little bit uh, for maybe about a week then slowly move out to the morning sun it should be okay but if you don't uh, feel comfortable with it okay this part you can even trim it out it will be fine because it will make the plants a little bit shorter, more nicer bush and then uh, it will not get things too tall. Whereby this type of quantity of the soil for these herbs is always have to be using all the time. You don't allow it to grow too big. Okay, so I'm going to do is two in one here because uh, anyhow I don't want to waste the space. What I'm going to do is that might as well I'm also applicating the mint. What I'm going to do is that uh, I will trim out all the leaves. Okay, and this is the part whereby the root is going to come out from one to another to another. So this is the part that the root actually will coming out. So if you bury this part under the soil, it will going to grow all the root. And the upper part here, don't leave it too many leaves because there is no root yet. They need to suck up the water and then the leaf up here, if it's too many, what is going to happen is that it's going to be not doing well. So you can even leave it just a two like that. And then this is the part that is again, is a root, it's going to come out, this part. Okay, so maybe you bury it, this two, now all the way. Even as small as this, I can assure you that it wouldn't be a problem. So you can just uh, keep on filling this part up. This one also is fine. Mint is so easy to grow. And uh, why I grow this together in just a cram into a whole container like that? Because 
sometimes uh, you don't need to worry so much if you have sufficient food for it you have the, uh, enough water the sun is good the soil quality is good you can even put this underneath here it will help to preserving even the water so the water when the sunlight coming in all the way hits around here it doesn't easily go off so it also helping this brazil in the way this is the brazil plants okay uh, i will just show you the next part that when i'm watering this uh, so okay i'm preparing here a uh, water what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put in a lot of water because I am not worried about the water will be too much. Whatever is this extra is going to go to the bottom part and it will be there for a very long time. So here guys how it works. All right. So from here, whenever it's rained, or you know, if you want to fill up until it's really, very really a lot of water, the water will be keep collecting here all the way. And if it's uh come all the way until this level, it's gonna flood out. So from here, it means the inside there, there is the punches the hole a few four five holes there. Normally, the water will be sucking up from there, and it will at least uh up until this hole. The part, the soil under there, it will be very watery. But above that, all the way here, it will be just nice for the plants. Means that uh, how much plant they need the water, that is how much quantity that actually the plant will suck up. So from here, you can see that uh, time to time, you can add the soil. You can also uh, put in the fertilizer a little bit and you just keep it into the uh, shady place first for the first maybe one week or the morning sun so until the plant actually by tomorrow this one it will be back up like that and the rest is will be fine so this type of plants uh, they don't need a lot of full sunlight it's only half sunlight or is it fair to say it's the morning sun is the best so uh, you don't need to really really put it to the full sun if you want to put it full sun can no problem okay it's not much affected this but the main leaf will be a little bit smaller the the main leaf smaller is not just the malnutrient only but it's also sometimes it's, uh, too much sun also it can and the colors also might not be so nice so actually okay so here you can see if i keep on water another one maybe just one container inside it uh, maybe can go up until all the way here but I think it's already good enough for today we're gonna leave it and we will be update you about this in time to time okay uh, to show you how actually work I grow a lot of uh, lettuce in this container because uh, lettuce that you are having the home grow and then just the home consumption you don't need a very big container like this size of container with the good nutrient and preparer on the soil is good enough and so i am lazy to take care of it every day i just pluck the lettuce the bottom part for the leaves and then using it for my own kitchen that is very fine commission wise for lettuce of course it should be around 12 inches uh, container would be better but this one is very good and it's a very nice size for the home grow and your own kitchen use Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please kindly do like and subscribe and share our video will be very nice. And we will upload it for the following week every Tuesday, 1 o'clock. Thank you so much. Bye.